Welcome back, where today we're discussing everything new with SOLIDWORKS 2019. If you, hadn't had a, if you haven't had a chance to join us yet today, this morning we had a great discussion where we looked at many new enhancements coming in SOLIDWORKS 2019, such as performance enhancements, modeling details, smart manufacturing, design to manufacturing, and some really cool innovative stuff that we were doing with Touch. We also spent a little, uh, a little bit talking about mesh to manufacturing about an hour ago, and this hour we're going to be talking with some folks about extended reality. If you hadn't had a chance to watch those, you'll be able to watch those videos on YouTube and Facebook. You'll also be able to visit the SOLIDWORKS website and find those under the What's New section. But if you really want to get an opportunity to get a deep dive look at the software, I encourage you to look for a reseller event that's going to be taking place globally around you on October 1st. And finally, if you'd like, please engage with us on any social media platform that you're used to using. We have folks out there who are just looking forward to uh, talking and engaging with you. But now I want to get into a very interesting topic, extended reality. And for this, I have two special guests with me today, Kurt from Product Introduction. And Arnoff, you're the director of eDrawings Applications, correct? Yes. So Arnoff, why don't you tell us a little bit about what that means to be the director of eDrawings Applications? So um, I head the eDrawings uh, development group, and I also head the effort in most of the R&D projects, the, the experimental technology that goes on. And we, here we are looking at things that are absolute cutting edge, uh, things that we may want to put in the product two to five years out. Uh, a lot of the stuff that we do, some of that we show in SOLIDWORKS world, but as you know, these projects, a lot of them don't make it to the product. But this year in 2019, it's super exciting because two of the big ones are actually making it to the product. The first one is the render pipeline stuff that Sid talked about in the morning. Yeah, that was really exciting. That was pretty cool. And the second piece is extended reality. So I've heard of AR and VR. What's, tell us a little bit about what extended reality means. Sure. So um, we have these different things, virtual reality for VR, augmented for AR, and then MR is mixed reality. So we put all of this together and we call it XR. Whereas in VR, like you, know, you have an opaque glasses where you're completely in the environment. In AR, we have, um, it, you know, you, it's a translucent glass, so you can see through, but then you can place your digital object in the real world. And then mixed reality is a combination of that. Okay. So this morning we had Greg Green on talking about the Canada-France-Hawaii telescope, and he had an opportunity, I believe it was with you, to try this out. Was that yes. right? Yes. What was his reaction? His reac reaction was, oh my God, I want this now. It was exactly what you were hoping to hear, Pretty right? much, exactly. That's, that's, uh, that's food for the soul. Good. That's, yeah. good. that's great to hear. Kurt, you've had an opportunity also with the Canada France Hawaii telescope to kind of look at VR, and you were going to share some of that with us today, what that experience might be like, correct? Yeah, Jeremy. Um, you know, this, this technology is really, it's just simple. Um, literally, all you do in SOLIDWORKS, is, I'm sorry, in e drawings, is say, file open in, in virtual reality. Uh, from there, you open the SOLIDWORKS assembly up, you put your headset on and you're just immersed in, in your design. And as you can see here, it's really simple to make your way through. It's exactly what you would expect. You just click and point where you want to go inside of, you know, inside of your design or around your design, whatever it is. So it, it really took a lot of time to make it, it simple and intuitive for, you know, for, for the end user. Now, I am in here, but can I interact with this in any way? Absolutely. So, you know, again, just another click on the on the controller and you can grab a hold of objects like you see here and just bring them right up to you. You can see their metadata and all of that. You can pick and place them to, to disassemble something. Uh, you can just release them to drop them back. So it's, it's really super intuitive, super easy to use environment for people to, to just plug and play into VR. This almost feels like a video game. I mean, is it is it that easy to be besides a VR headset? Do I need any anything special to do this? Nope. You need your VR headset functioning normally. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then you just need your drawings pro. That's it. I don't that's need. It. That's great. So now we're doing this with e drawings, but I've seen other technologies where you can create like. Uh, these interactive experiences. Do we have any way with SolidWorks that we can uh, share VR data out of with yeah. other people? So also new in this release, we it's literally just a file save as extended reality. So this is just an industry standard 
format type, so you save your, you save your assembly out into this format, and then you can use it to create interactive VR, AR experiences that, that you want either on your own or with some of our partners um, that are set up to do these kind of things. This is really awesome technology. Now, you had mentioned y you were talking a little bit about how you worked with Sid on this. So yes. this is an example where we, as a company, looked at a project and we're using it across multiple products? Yes. Uh, when we first looked at uh, XR in general a few, uh, some time back, uh, one of the biggest things we found was our customers, including us, we would go to trade shows and look at these different demos. But when we came back to the desk, we would say, okay, here's my model. How do I put this in the headset? And there, was, there would be this, this pause or this blank because it is not easy to do. So ease of use was absolute, of absolute uh, paramount, just like any of the sol other SolidWorks stuff. So what we wanted to do was using some of the work uh, that Sid's group was doing, put it together so that one click and you're in VR. And then also from the SolidWorks side of things, make life easy for our users. So that was the goal. You've also shared with me uh, to be able to do VR, you have to actually be able to hit a certain performance threshold, otherwise you may Correct. get ill from the experience. Is that right? Correct. So the, the challenge from a development standpoint was when we get models like, like the telescope, for example, it's you know, 10, 10 15,000 components, we need to hit at least 80 frames per second. 90 is ideal. So we have to hit that consistently through the VR experience. And that was one of the biggest challenges which we are looking at SID's engine to solve. Well, this has been some really great stuff we've looked at here with VR coming in SolidWorks 2019 through eDrawings. Anything else that you guys, uh, you guys are, you want to share with the audience out there? Anything else that we're looking at that way? Well, I can finally sleep that this is going to go out. This is awesome. <laughs> That's always the, the emotional paycheck, right? Absolutely. You get to see your product come to life. Well, thanks, everybody, for joining us today. Uh, as we've been doing throughout the day, we're going to have one more session coming up this afternoon at 3 o'clock Eastern time where we're going to talk about connecting the disconnected. We're going to get an opportunity to see some very cool collaboration tools that will be available to SolidWorks users everywhere. And again, stay tuned, comment on Facebook and, and YouTube, and we'll try to have somebody out there on those social media platforms engaging with you. Thanks.